Welcome, Matt here from the Mr Gardener YouTube channel and today we're taking a look at this, the Fiskars Garden Spade. Spades are one of the true essential gardening tools and there's a huge range out there but it's often difficult to find a spade that has all of the features you want for a reasonable price. So when I found this spade I was really excited to give it a go. And of course there will be a link to the product in the description so you can check it out after the video. With that being said, let's take a closer look at this spade. The first thing you're going to notice about this spade is the size of it. It is massive, particularly when you compare it to other spades available here in the UK, which tend to be around about a metre in height. This thing comes in at 1.2 metres. Now this is particularly important these days where a lot of people have back problems, and if you are using a spade a lot, you want something you're going to be able to use for a long period of time that's not going to be harming you in the long run and that's where taller spades come in. They give you much better posture and it's a real ergonomics when using the tool, which reduces the stress on your body, which long term can make a big difference. Now moving on to the weight of the tool. Now, when it comes to spades, some people like heavy spades, some people like light spades, and there are pluses and minuses to both. This spade sits in what I think is a happy medium. It weighs about 1.94 kilos, which makes it by no means a light spade. But when you consider the extra height that this has, the weight gives it a nice bit of punch to get through the ground and roots and things like that very effectively. But it's not too heavy, so you're not going to get overly fatigued using it, particularly if you're shoveling and carrying soil. Now moving on to the build quality, and this is where this spade really impresses. It is built like an absolute tank, which gives you absolute confidence to attack roots, dig up shrubs, without any worry that it's going to break or bend in any way. So you've got a nice solid plastic handle which is attached to the shaft just by a simple screw but it's nice and sturdy, there's no wobble in that at all. You've got a solid metal shaft which is not going to bend or break on you unless you put a ridiculous force through it. The only real weak point in this spade is where the shaft and the spade head are welded together but again it feels nice and strong weld. I haven't had any concerns about it feeling like it might bend or wobble at all. The build quality of this is all the more impressive when you compare it to another Fisker spade. This is the Fisker's exact spade and we had this for a couple of years but as you can see it snapped in two um, and this thing is twice the price. So moving on to the spade head itself you've got a nice foot plate there uh, something I wish more spades had. It's a great little feature particularly if you're just gardening in trainers or flip-flops or whatever it just means that you're not going to destroy your feet or your shoes but even if you're wearing boots it means you can get a good purchase on it and you can really punch through that ground more effectively. The spade head itself is a decent size. It's slightly curved. The one I have here has the rounded end. There is a pointed version for more stony soil. This worm worked very well cutting into the ground, going through roots and things like that. It's a decent size, as I say, for carrying soil and things like that. But it's not too big, so you're not gonna end up having a huge amount of soil that you just can't carry. It did come completely blunt when I bought it but I very quickly put a edge on that with the angle grinder and it's held the edge pretty well. And you can get a nice sharp edge as well so you can easily cut through roots with it. So very effective head on there, very high quality steel, so very impressive. The only thing is with the overall shape of the spade, the slight curve to the shaft and the slight curve to the, the spade head itself, you're going to struggle to do edging effectively, which is the only real drawback with this spade. I can really highly recommend this spade. It's comfortable, lightweight, and it's built like an absolute tank. So whether you're using it every day, planting and attacking shrubs with it, and thoroughly abusing it, or whether you're using it at home and you just want something that's comfortable to use, relatively lightweight and very effective, then definitely check out this Fiskars Garden Spade. It's all the more remarkable when you consider the price of this. So this spade comes in at the moment on Amazon at £22. So I think that's an absolute bargain and you're really going to struggle to find a better spade for that price. So definitely worth checking it out. And of course, there will be a link in the description. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing for more videos like this. It would be great to have you along on the channel. If you've got any comments or questions about the video, drop them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. And that just leaves me to say thanks again for watching. Bye for now.